Hey, hello everybody. This is Rain Jones, and I'm going to be talking today about um, how to sell products on Amazon. So one of the things I'm going to talk about first is how how the process, uh, the big picture overview, how it works. Okay. So the first thing that that you're going to want to do if you decide that uh, you want to sell products on on Amazon is you need to create a seller account on Amazon. And I'll take you through those steps here in a few in a few minutes. I just want to hit the big picture first. Okay, when you create your seller account, you have you'll have two choices. You can do a free one, or you can pay a thirty nine ninety nine subscription, and that will get you uh, fulfillment by Amazon, which means Amazon will ship your products for you rather than you having to do it. So you want to make sure that if you're serious about this. Make sure you add that fulfillment by Amazon and, and pay that extra subscription fee to, to get it. Okay, the third thing is find a product people want to buy. Now, I'm phrasing it this way because a lot of times when, when we talk about products and, and, and e-commerce and selling physical products, uh, what we have a tendency to do is, is try to sell stuff that, that we like or that we think people will like. And there's a way to do the research, and that's what I'm going to be taking you through today primarily. But there's a way to do research to find out what people are actually buying and selling that to them rather than trying to randomly find something and put it on there and, and hope it sells. Okay, so create a product listing. That's also on Amazon. Prepare your products for shipment to, to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. Uh, this is make this includes making sure that your products are e-commerce ready, or that they have an an Amazon number or barcode assigned to them. Then you want to ship the products to the fulfillment center. Uh, the customer orders a product, Amazon ships it, and hey, great, Amazon provides customer support on the products you sell. All right. This last one, I'm going to make a note here. Now I'm going to be covering most of these steps. Uh, either t today or on later videos, so don't feel like uh, you're going to be missing out on anything here. Uh, Amazon provides the customer support on the products that, that you sell, but if you want to have cus uh, customer lifetime value, you are still going to have to do some engagement with that customer, and that's something that, that I'll take you through in, in later recordings, but I just want to make sure that, that you understand that even though Amazon's providing that customer support, you still have a role to play if you want to keep that customer for more than just one sale. All right, next. All right, selling products on Amazon. So the first thing that, that uh, I'm recommending that if you're even halfway serious about this is to go ahead and set up that seller account. Uh, there, like I said before, you can you can initially set it up for free if you want to, and then if you decide that you're really serious about pursuing this method of making money, then you can go ahead and and get the subscription going. But first thing, so here are some of the things that that you need to to know. Uh, first off, you need to have an idea of what you want to name your account. So, I use RMJ Sales Center. Now that's not my overall business name. But that, that's what I'm calling it on Amazon. Okay. If you have an LLC or a corporation, make sure you have the EIN or the tax number handy, the name, the actual name of your business, the address, and the phone number. Okay, this is so Amazon can verify all that information for your tax purposes. Uh, credit card, if you're going to go ahead and get that monthly subscription so that you can use the fulfillment by Amazon then you need to make sure that you get the $39.99 monthly subscription and have a credit card ready if that's how you that's how you want to go with this. And then finally you need to make sure that you have your bank account information. Uh, that's your account number and the routing number so that Amazon can actually pay you when you get your products sold on, on their site. So that's the first recommendation is getting that seller's account set up. Uh, there's a tool that, um, which is what's on here next, called Jungle Jungle Scout, and you can get get to it by at junglescout.com. Now, what this does is it allows you to actually uh, research and, and compare product and 
products for sale on Amazon. And I will take you through that because what I'm going to be focusing on today primarily is product research. And this is the, the tool that uh, I was trained to use to, to do that product research. And you'll see kind of how cool it is here in, in just a few minutes. But you want to make sure now that you have a couple options for, for the Jungle Scout. Uh, right now, my recommendation is, is that you just sign up for the Chrome extension portion. Now, there is a one-time charge for this. However, there are aspects of it that you can use for free without getting the extension. But what the extension does is it allows you to compare similar products um, being advertised by other people on Amazon. And I'll, I'll take you through that as well. So those are the initial recommendations. Finally, product research. This is what I'm going to be talking about um, for, the, for the next few minutes here. and what I want you to do is you're going to be doing this on Amazon so there are several ways to to get started on this if you have something that that you bought on Amazon previously that you really liked you can look it up or you can do a method of just type picking a, a letter on the keyboard typing that letter in the Amazon search box and seeing what comes up because a lot of the times when you just type that first letter in you're going to see a list of options and those are usually the options that um, most people do their own searches on. So that right there is kind of giving you, you an idea of what people are looking for. So those are so those are two ways to start your product research. Now, when when you're looking at products, and and this is just the what information right now. I am going to take you through, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So bear with me here. When you look at a product, you, you want to look at a product that gets at least 300 sales per month and that you can charge more than $50 for initially. And, and we'll kind of break it down how, how, you know, how you get to that $50 charge. It's really, really easy. easy. Yeah, no more than $50. So you can have something on there that's $12.94 or, or whatever. Just try to keep it under $50 for now. And you want to look at, at products that are specifically in the buy box. And what we mean by the buy box is, is these are products that are eligible for fulfillment by Amazon, which means they have the, the prime shipping option. Uh, they're priced competitively, and usually what this means is mimicking the, the market. So you're going to see, and you've seen it before, where you've typed in a search on Amazon, and you have several products of the same products but they're coming at different prices so you want to kind of to you don't want to compete uh, so much as mimic what that average price might be and and I'll show you how to get to that it, it's not a matter of competing where if you sell it at a lower price you're going to get more sales because that's not how Amazon's buy box works so a little bit more information on, on the buy box uh, once I get you on Amazon and, and start showing you some of this stuff. Again, provide great customer service. So yes, you have fulfillment by Amazon, and, and we've talked about Amazon providing customer support, but you still have an obligation as a person who's running a business to provide that customer support and follow up as well. And like I said, this is how you you know, keep those customers coming back and, and buying from you rather than buying from other sellers on Amazon. And keep and maintain your inventory. So if you've got something that's selling really good on Amazon, you need to make sure that you have a system in place so that you don't run, run out of inventory because that will get you taken out of the buy box pretty quick. And finally, don't compete with Amazon. And what this means is, is Amazon has their, their own products and, and whatnot that they sell. And you can tell when it's being sold by Amazon or when it's being sold by another seller with fulfillment by Amazon. And, and I'll take you through that. But when I say don't compete with Amazon is don't make claims that your product is, is better than Amazon or some way uh, cheaper than theirs or don't do that kind of comparison where you're you're actively competing against them because I, I can tell you Amazon will not put up with that and it doesn't do you any good. 
So when so those are the the list of items that that put products in, in the buy box and and when you do a search you, you'll figure it out because usually it's you know the first product that that's listed when you do a search will it'll be the one that's in the buy box but again I'll show you uh, I'll show you how to to look for that and then a couple things 80% of products sold on Amazon are those that are in the buy box so that's why I say it's very important for you to to make sure that you you do when you do your products and you're doing your product research you want to do your research on products that are in the buy box so you know what you need to do to get yours in the buy box and what this does is is there are very few actual competitors that have products in Amazon's buy box and so what happens, what Amazon does is if they get two or three sellers whose products are all in the buy box, they're going to rotate those. So one day, one week, it might be one seller. Next day, next week, next search, it'll be another one and so on. And it'll rotate through, through those actual real competitors that are in Amazon's buy box. And your goal is to actually make sure that, that your product, that your product listing gets in that buy box as a way to accelerate your sales and so we're going to go through and I'm going to talk about the math when doing your product research on how to determine whether or not to sell a product on Amazon okay so in the previous slide I mentioned real competitors and like I said, those are, are the those are the real competitors. Those are the folks who have their product in that buy box. And my recommendation is is try to find a product that has three or less real competitors with products in that buy box, uh, because it's the the more competitors you have, the the more the sales are the more people or companies those sales are going to be split between. And then you want to take a look at the average monthly sales of that product. And again, right now, this is the overview. And very shortly, I'll be taking you through an example of an actual product research, product search, so you can see this, this stuff for yourself. Okay, average monthly sales. And then what you want to do is take those average monthly sales and figure out the average buy box sales. So when I said previously that 80% of, of the sales that occur on, on Amazon are buy box sales. We want to have a little bit of wiggle room in that math. So what I've done here is take those average monthly sales times 75%. And that's going to give you the, the average monthly buy box sales to work with. And then to determine the units that we sell or you sell per month, you want to take those average buy box sales and divide it by real competitors and make sure you include yourself as one of those competitors so if you see on Amazon on a product where it has one or two real competitors you want to make sure that you divide by three if you have three competitors you divide by four one competitor divide by two but make sure you add yourself as one of those competitors to determine uh, the average sales that you individually can experience each month. All right, and the sales price, again, that would be, breaking it down for simple terms, it would be the average sale pri sales price of what real competitors are charging. And what you will see is a lot of times when you see those real competitors, the price is going to be the same for each of them because they're not competing with each other because of the way that Amazon manages the buy box sales. So keep that in mind. So gross monthly sales is going to be your units that you sell times that sale price. And that's going to tell you, you know, the, the overall amount that that's gross that's going to be made for that month. Now, that's not going to be your potential profit, okay, because you need to take out the product cost, in this case, how much it's going to cost you to get that product, you know, made or delivered to you to deliver to to the Amazon fulfillment center. 
uh, until you start working with a supplier to figure out what their product cost is, my recommendation is is to take that uh, that sales price, divide it by two, and then take that res re result and divide that by two and start with that number. And then fine. And then finally, the other thing that you need to to subtract is the Amazon fulfillment by Amazon fee. Now, Amazon has a chart that tells you what percentage they charge for them to fulfill shipment uh, on a product that that you have. Most of the time, that that's going to be fifteen percent of the sales price. However, there are on the some product categories that charge a higher percentage, some even up to 45%. So when we start digging into to Amazon and, and the and this Amazon seller site, we'll actually I'll actually pull up that chart or show you where you can find that chart to determine uh, how much uh, of a piece of the pie Amazon is going to take to uh, ship your products for you. And then to get your potential profit, again, you take those gross monthly sales and subtract the product cost and the Amazon fulfillment and the fulfillment by Amazon fee. So that is the you know verbal in a nutshell uh, on how to do product research. And now I'm going to go ahead and get away from the slides here, and I'm going to take you through researching a product on Amazon so that you can actually see what I'm see what I've been talking about so bear with me again we'll do the example okay so again Jungle Scout now I'm going to show you a couple ways to, to do this I'm going to try to all right, so right now I, I do have Jungle Scout. And as you can see up here, it's a Chrome extension, Jungle Scout Pro. So what happens is, is I'm just gonna start here. Um, all right, let's just, let's just look at the knee brace. So you do a product search, you search for a knee brace. Now, what I am going to show you here is how you can determine if something is a, a potential buy box item or, or not. So one of the first things that, that you look at is if it says sponsored, then that means that someone's actually paying, paying for this ad to, to be displayed on Amazon. And so they might rank it a little bit higher to, to show that it's sponsored. So that right there is not something that that would get you in the buy box so here we're going to look at at the best seller and one of the indications is is you've got the prime here so we're going to go ahead and click on that okay so the first thing that you want to try to do is determine how many potential competitors you have and okay doesn't look like there's any others for this one but let me go back and see if I can find one that will have okay so one of the way to determine competitors, number of competitors, is when you see compare with similar items, and you click on that, and it has another one. And so what you see is, is you see the price. Like I said, usually they're going to be about the same price. Condition new, and then fulfillment by Amazon. So those. Those right there, the, the prime, the new condition, the fulfillment by Amazon, and the different name of, of the competitor, that's saying that right now there, there are two other people who have this same product 
in, in Amazon's buy box. So if we go back to the slides, another number of real competitors plus you. So that means there's two competitors. So I'm just going to type this in real quick. All right. Two competitors plus you. All right. So then you return to the product information. Now, if you do have the Chrome extension for Jungle Scout Pro, what you're going to do is, is you're going to click on it. And what you're going to see is this is the, the, this is this product right here. Okay, so right now they're saying that it's priced at $15.99. And that they're getting about 4,185 sales per month. So, and they're selling it for $15.99. Oops. Bear with me, guys. And their other competitor is selling it for $15.99 as well. So, talk about average monthly sales let me go back to that all right so we say average monthly sales is Okay, so then you want to do the average buy box sales for that month. And in this case, what you're doing is, and I'll pull up the calculator here so you can see exactly what I'm doing as well, is you're going to take that average sales, 4185 and you're taking you're dividing it by three because you have two other competitors and you want to include yourself so divided by three all right and I need to back up because I I just skipped a step all right so four thousand one hundred and eighty five and the average buyback sales, like I said, is your average monthly sales times 75%. So, all right, so we just run that up to 3,139. All right, so that's your average buy box sales. So then the next step, as we say, units we sell per month. So what you want to do is, is you want to take the average buy box sales Oh, let me see if I can get this right. And you want to divide it by three because, again, it's you plus your two competitors. So you're going to be selling about 1,046 of these. And then your sales price, like I said, both competitors are selling it at $15.99. So we're just going to go ahead and say sales price is $15.99. So now what you want to do is your gross profit. And 
and that's going to equal 1046 take it times 1599 and so the gross profit is 16 this is just kind of bugging me here so bear with me 16,725 dollars and 54 cents all right so that's the, the overall gross profit. So then you want to figure product cost. Okay. And this is, like I said, until you actually start talking to suppliers to, to see what the best cost you can get for, for product, my recommendation for the quick math is to take... Fifteen ninety nine divided by two. Okay, and then take that and divide it by two. And so you're looking at three ninety nine. So you're talking about three ninety nine, and you want to take that and multiply it times the quantity that you sell. In this case, it would be one thousand forty six. And that's the total cost that, that you're going to spend for that product for 1046 of the knee braces. All right, and then the fulfillment by Amazon. And in this case, since you already know what, what the gross profit is, take the gross profit and multiply that times, we said, 20%. Okay, which means you're going to be paying Amazon three thousand three hundred and forty five dollars and eleven cents so then your potential profit would then equal one six seven two five four minus four thousand one hundred seventy three fifty four minus three thousand three hundred forty five dollars and eleven cents and so you're looking at a potential profit of nine thousand two hundred and six dollars and eighty nine cents per month Okay, because all of this is based on the average monthly sales. So that means all the math considered, you could make $9,206 just on this one product by selling it for $15.99 per knee brace. Now, the other portion of this research is are people buying it? Well, yes, people are buying it. And like I said earlier, uh, once you break it down to how many you would be selling in that e e month, if you're selling, you know, 300 or more, that's a, that's a usually a pretty good turnaround. So in this case, you're selling 1,046 1, is how many you could potentially be selling each month. Now, what I want to do here is I want to warn you that you may not start off making that right away because what you need to do is is there are other aspects like you said marketing um, getting your product in the buy box and and other uh, factors that that will impact this when you get started so when you get started understand that this is going to be an average number that that you can shoot for based upon the math 
okay, based upon the fact that there's only two competitors plus you, what they're selling and how much they're selling their stuff for. But keep in mind, they've been doing this for a, li for a little bit longer than you have. So that's one way to, to do the product research. Now, the other aspect of this and, and why I recommend that the groom extension is it, it gives you a comparison of other knee braces that, that are for sale on Amazon and what their prices are, uh, their average monthly sales, and, and how much revenue they're generating on these average monthly sales. Now, it just so happened that I lucked out here in finding the the one knee brace that seems to be making the most sales per month. That's not always going to happen, so you may find something you know, down a little bit lower that, that might be a similar product uh, that's selling better than the one that you initially chose. So keep that in mind when you're doing your product research. Now, I'm going to try to Actually, what I'm going to try to do is log out. See if I can. Okay. So, the other way is you can bear with me so free under free resources on jungle scout they have what's called a sales estimator so if you click on that and the way you determine the marketplace on a product is You scroll past all this stuff to the product details, and what you will see here is Amazon Best Seller Sellers Rank. In this case, you only want to look at the first line. All right. So in Sports and Outdoors, this product is ranked number four twenty-eight. So what you do is, is you come back to the sales estimator. Find Sports and Outdoors, and then you enter the sales rank, and this was 428, and what you will see is estimated sales per month is 4,185, which is what we got here when we use the Chrome extension. So that's one way to figure out the estimates. It's a free tool, so, so you can use it absolutely free and find your information that way and get the estimated sales per month. What you're not going to get is the comparisons, uh, the potential comparisons. So that's just another way to, to do the math. Because uh, you already know what the price they're selling it for is $15.99. So you have access to all that information you don't have to do the chrome extension on jungle scout but like i said if you're serious about getting into selling on amazon i, I highly recommend that that you get the ex that you get the chrome extension now i'm going to wrap this up and get this posted if you have questions Please go ahead, please, please, please feel free to put those questions in the comment section and I will be happy to, to answer them. But keep in mind that this is just the first step. So the first thing that, that you need to do before you ever sell anything online is find something that people want, that people are buying. And so we're, I'm reiterating this. Find something that people are buying, and then do the research. Find out how, how much, how many others on Amazon are you know competing with you on the same product. How much are they selling it for? 
and figure out how many how many pro of this product you can sell per month and like i said if that number drops to 300 or below then i would walk away and find and find a different product so the next time my next class i'm going to be talking about actually uh the sellers and, and finding sellers because there's two ways to find sellers and depending upon which method you choose is also going to have an impact on your potential profits. So I'm not going to put a date on for, for the next one, but I will post uh, an update in my Facebook group, Brains Marketing Circle. I'll be posting that update and information on when the next block of instruction is going to occur. Until then, have a great day. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you later.